Thanks, partner. Looks like you already done most of the dirty work. Hi! That looks like everyone in town. Let's head up to the mansion and finish this. Darn fools! They got the high ground and plenty of cover up in the house. Be careful, partner. Good luck trying to make this go your way, boy.
That's what I've been after. That's what I wanted.
There we go. That's one. Oh, Lord. This is nasty. That's the flower. To Rio Bravo, please! You're looking a little tuckered out, my friend. Get some shut up. I'm just gonna have a rest.
John. Marshal. Gentlemen. <clears throat> it's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Ensconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John, I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. Now I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. My good men, <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> what the hell? It's a trap! Yeah! That pork eater can't hey, burn no cows. Yeah! No, John! No! Stop shooting at me! Take that! Come <laughs> on. 
like a dang pig. Them cocksucking some bitches escape the other side of the fort. All right, let's go. Let's find those bastards. Come on, let's go. I think my work here is done. Godspeed, gentlemen. I bid you farewell. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! Gentlemen, let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Men, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! What Get the, the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good Lord above. There must be a hundred of them. This should do the trick. What the heck? We got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparosa, I think he said. 
ass bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa. Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with a love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. Yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well-connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. <laughs> Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man, Williamson, no bother. I hope so. Hey! Come on, now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No. But not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? You know me. Oh, uh, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes. We men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of pits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me on a funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, we're here now. Look out, bandits! Cut the rope, Irish! We're sitting ducks here! Oh, my good lord! I should probably mention there's a thousand of dudes out there in Mexico. Alright, I'll beat this throat and tinderbox once we lose these tons of bacon. But there's a little bit of mess here to back it around. Grab it if you're running low. That's you! Nice boy! Death win! Good, I love it, 
Think you got some peckers to be sucking? Keep your eyes peeled. They're all along the bay. Exactly the reception I was expecting. We're not ones to forgive and forget, fellas. And I'll go out of it fighting. I expect you'll go out of it pissing your pants. so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, their big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. Oh, that polka? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellers trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of his stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? They're still coming! Behind that big rock! You must be taking up a...
on fraternizing with a notorious Irish outlaw. Well, I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. I see that. The current should put us ashore up ahead. God damn it, there's another two. horses look fresher <laughs> Whoop! and healthy <laughs> before you degrade these poor fools any further tell me where I'm headed of course of course let me think you do know people down here aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way yes I think so <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here John you know how it is I, I, I met an American guy uh, I saw him shoot a man uh, drink with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or was that Canada? <sighs> no, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, uh, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. Uh, played three card stud with him. Uh, or was it four card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap, or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. 
You gotta be on your way. The famed hospitality isn't what it once was, and I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a feck ugly man, but not a bad one. Interrumpas, pendejo, le dejé en la casa. Y les digo, de aquí para acá, chinguen a su madre. ¿Qué? ¿Y qué nos da? Ay, ese güey. Y de aquí para acá, son pendejos. ¡Eh, hey, gringo! ¿Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero yo hablo un solo poquito español. <laughs> poquito. Habla inglés? Oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. Sí. <laughs> ¿Comprende, amigo? ¿Comprende? Hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land with any further unpleasantries. If you'll excuse me. Uh Hold it, gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large family. Very big. <laughs> I, too, have a family, friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> Can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see him from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. Oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. Not many things. Most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home? A man who handles a gun as sloppy as you? I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. 
And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. <laughs> Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a... With Americans on the run, mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? <sighs> yeah. Never really is. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now, that's a real gun. Wasn't so hard, was it? Come on, I've got another idea. The birds around here are always raising hell, scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Sir, you've been taught. I say I'm surprised you heard of Landon Ricketts. Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Por favor, senor! Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Come on, these people need me. Long story. We used to ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their head. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? I'd show them what a big mistake they'd made. Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on.
Can I have this? Keep your eyes peeled. These bandits don't give up easily. All right, let's move out. Everybody stay alert. I can see you haven't lost your touch, Landon. Nobody said I had. Talk real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight no more. You're a long way from being a Landon Ricketts partner, young, old, or otherwise. Mire, señor, hay muchos de ellos. Easy now. You're getting it now. This is where it is, buddy. Right here. Come on. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Stay close to the perro and his entrenador. Any problems? Call me. Amigo, remember the instructions. Stay close to the dog. Show me where he is. Conmigo, desátame ya, con prisa. Yeah. <laughs> 
Muchas gracias. ¿Cómo estás hoy? Perdóneme, señor. A noble sentiment. ¿Qué tal? Le ho. Hay muchos gringos que entran a México por Ramita Valle. Soy como la 
Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier, Senor Escuela, is Javier, to see? No sé, señor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, the Stabacon, uh, grande Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being, not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir. And I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. I'm gonna take the train. You can come with me or ride ahead to El Matadero. Uno debe guardar a sus hermanas cuando Allende está cerca. And you look fine this day. I've been hearing some things about you, John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? That some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there. There should be some horses for us across the way. What are you waiting for? Mount up! Come on, first stop, I'm at the Darrow. We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl, anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Here we are. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? All right, let's find this Carlos guy.
Carlos. Si. We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. Hope you're ready for this. Hace calor hoy. Bien bochornoso, ¿verdad? No lo voy a decir otra vez. ¡No puedes estar aquí! Eh, oye, soy yo, Carlos. Pues trabajo en el matadero. No me importa quién eres. Esta es una zona militar prohibida. Vete a casa. Me gustan sus botas. Muy bonitas. Mi hermana tiene las mismas. Pinche campesino de mierda. Te voy a colgar al lado de tu cerdo. Váyanse al infierno, traidores. Well, I say we've waited long enough. Come on, let's get into those caves. Where's my cover, Marston? This doesn't look good. What the hell? Call yourself soldiers? Come on, stay with me. My lord! Where is she? Are you gunmen or just a local circus? What the hell's happening? Got Nearly there. It must be this door. Looks like we might need a little dynamite to get it open. Keep watch while I get it ready. What have you got for me? Deal with those battles. I'm gonna blow it. Stand back, damn it. Here goes. girl's barely alive. Let's get the hell out of here before any more of them show up. Can I have this? Here comes more! Well done, sir. I taught you well. Come on, 
This is our chance. Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on! <laughs> Let's go before any more of them show up. No, you don't. Damn, where the hell is Carlos? I thought he was meeting us here. Where is he? Something doesn't feel right here. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Esquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Someone else.
Welcome to Nuevo Pariso, John. Where do I know you from? You're famous, John. You're the man who shot a bunch of banditos as soon as he turned up in this country. You're a man who decided right and wrong between a man and death, between a man and his wife. And who are you? You know, I admire you, John. I hope my boy turns out just like you. <laughs> For your sake, I hope he don't. You kill people so easily, yet you respect the vows of marriage. That's very curious. I'll let the appropriate authorities judge my morality, friend. Yes, you will. And they shall. Anyway, I hear that an old nun is traveling from the monastery, taking the money she raised to the bank. Why don't you head up there and see if you can lend her a hand? Road's full of thieves. Either that or... Robber yourself. I'll see you around, John. I hope you don't. Off you go. Go now. You'll see me again. Don't worry about that. Don't tell me you've gone soft in your old age. Sean Generosos! Arms for the poor! Uh, oh, sir. Could you find it in your heart to donate some money for the poor? Perhaps cast a little sunlight into their lives? Well, maybe, but ain't it the Lord's responsibility to look over his flock? Not mine? Yes, but the Lord has brought you to me so you could help me. They're at their wit's end, and their faith has been cast aside. All it would take is a few dollars to get them started on the right path so they could see there are those who care. A few dollars to completely restore someone's faith? I never knew life is so simple. There you are, sister. Yes. Life is much simpler than we make it. Gracias, señor. And God bless you. Is there something else I can do for you? No me toques. Me gusta la No tengo nada. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Oh, very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Unlucky in love, lucky in cars. Cars on. Champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Herr Muller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well, then, your deal. <laughs> Oh, Marston, would you like to join us? I don't think so. I'm just going to have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, then. Gentlemen, hey. Namak, Sean! How can I refuse? I wonder if you're also as lucky as Mr. Ricketts. Bolt! I'll take a whiskey, if you're buying, Muller. Now, Fold. Terrible. 
Look at that. A little beginner's luck. I think it's about time I showed you fine fellers how this is done. No, thank you. I just ain't getting the cards. Call. I'll check. Interesting. I checked that. Uh, fold. We need a new deck. Not for me. You fucking cheat! Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking cards, you fucking cheat! Now, Herr Muller, let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you did. Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planted this guy Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now calm down and let's finish the game. There's no, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Walk with me, John. I want to make sure you know how this is going to work. A duel is all about timing. If you pull your gun too soon, you'll be less accurate. After you draw, pick your shots carefully, like I showed you. Once you've picked your marks, the rest, my friend, is in the hands of fate. Come on, Yankee! I'm a busy man! Steady now, partner. Stay calm. I'll show you what happens to filthy cheats! Remember what I told you? Nobody steals from me, especially an American. <laughs> Old Muller always did play his cards too early. Come on, we've earned ourselves a drink. I think Mr. Muller's buying. Your health. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, the man they call Marston, see? <laughs> you like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> Do you, Marston. Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> you better not miss, partner. No, por favor! No merezco esto. Oye, mamona, que tengo más oh, madre mía. Careful, Marston, I know that girl. Ayúdame, alguien. Dios mío. No merezco esto. Oh, imbécil. God 
can a man enjoy a drink of beef? Come on, smoke these bastards up. Over there! Nobody leaves here alive! What the hell? Sorry about this, partner. Put them all down, partner! Stay away from Chupa Rosa! This is what happens when you work so German. Don't give up on me now! Kill these bastards! I see you. I run this town. Al infierno contigo. Muere, you cabrón. Me, Murdered and murder. Ain't your day. No, partner, I think we can safely say this poker game is over. Well, I must say, you tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Then again, I doubt Muller will be missed. He wasn't much of a poker player. Hablan de mucho mal y conjuraciones en primero. Amigo, bienvenido a la cantina Casanueva. Ok, please. Uno debe guardar a sus hermanas cuando Allende está cerca. ¿Qué tal? <laughs> hey, gringo. Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? <laughs> Something like that. Well, well, you've killed people. You lived the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader? A fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <laughs> Already had me a woman, got me a farm, then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> Been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me, I spent 25 years killing men. <laughs> Look at me now, sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink and let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts, Mr. Ricketts, thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir. But Allende is sending more men to the death. 
Prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you. Both of you. Let's head for Escalera. All right, there. Hola. Come on. Luisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Linde seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled on it. I have to find these two men. With respect, how I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? <laughs> I'd feel a lot more comfortable if you'd put that down. That'll work. Apart from a rat feeding every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Now, I politely ask you to watch your tone, Rick. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. So, uh, you must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself, how I used to be, stubborn and angry. You ain't check. Look, it's an army convoy. I think I see the prisoners in those wagons. This is our chance. See if you can take control of that first wagon. Yeah. See that? Prison wagons. That must be them. Come on! See if you can take control of that first wagon. more innocent people now. Excuse me, partner. I ain't getting fresh. What are you waiting for? We need to get these prisoners to America. 
They'll be safe there. Head for the bridge. Don't stop now. We need to get over the border. I will handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you say so, Marston. If you say so. What do you want, gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. Been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. I'll be sorry, friend.
Relax, Amir, relax. Hey, uh, how are you? Sure. Somewhere between the threatening stare and the soldier's arm to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo. Let's come eat, drink, and then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroyed a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> and I am uh, no soldier, a killer. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man, perhaps you've heard of him, Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province, to keep our civilization alive. But it's tough. The people are confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor named Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Vámonos! You can take your horse or ride on the wagon. So, by your soul. Let's go. Stay close to the wagon. We must hurry. You did not expect such a warm welcome from the Mexican army. I can see. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words that the peasants have been taught. But do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering uh, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies you heard. Baby. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. You love to talk badly of other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe you should look in the mirror. You're the one talking about this. And I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, Senor Marston. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better, to pull your arm around a hungry man or to beat him until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. Who are these adults you hunt? This Billy, the cowboy, and his Mexican friend. Bill Williams is a fellow I used to know, and Javier Escuela? Well, I knew him too. What do you mean? You know this man? We was friends once. Part of the past I can't seem to get rid of. The past is all that's real, my friend. It cannot be erased. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. 
I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure gonna do something about the future. Whatever helps you to sleep at night, amigo. My country is full of American criminals, mostly in the service of the rebel pigs. Mexico is an easy place for a man to lose himself, whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. I ain't got much time to find these men. There must be a high price on their heads. The highest price? Can I ask how much? I'm not getting paid. It's... it's a long story. I'm being made to do this. I will never understand you Americans. Me neither. We have a system of law in Mexico, senor. And we do not tolerate people who think they can run with their own. However, if you help us, we help you. No one hides from Coronel Allende for long. Rebellion. It is a disease. It is killing this country. Don't the people have the right to stand up for themselves? The right? The right? Don't you throw silly ideas at me. What do you know about the rights of the Mexican people? Very little. I'm just saying there must be something behind this rebellion. Although you was behind the Senor Marston. Lies. Insidious lies. The peasants are stupid. And like cows, they can be hurting. It only takes a few men. To move many. Maybe they've just had enough of being called stupid. You're talking about things you don't understand. If you ask me something, I'm gonna give you an answer. Are you a revolutionary? Is that why you're here? I was once, I suppose. In a twisted kind of way. Thought I could change something if I fought hard enough. Change what? I don't know. Maybe that was the problem. Revolution is always selfish. It is nothing but greed and ego. Individuals putting their own needs above those of others. It is people fighting for change, when they have no idea what change is. If you're a poor man who's been beat down all his life, any change is gonna seem good. What? You think that overthrowing the government is going to make a poor man rich? If you're not helping them, it's only natural they're gonna look for someone else who will. For a tired old revolutionary, you are very naive. What do you want us to do? Walk around giving out money? Every poor person in Mexico. <laughs> what a terrible idea. First, they need to look at why they're poor. Then they need to go out and do some work rather than sitting on their culos talking about freedom. Who's this man we're looking for? The leader of the rebels? Abraham Reyes. He's a traitor, a liar, a coward, and a sinner. A hero who has done nothing. I have far more respect for the shit I looked this morning. And I ever will for that pathetic worm. That's a nice image. He is from a rich family. A man born in a golden cradle. Who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak-minded. He must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of course he is. All that bastard does is stand in a balcon giving speeches. It is easy to make promises you can never keep. It takes more than a few promises to build an army. Reyes wants power. Nothing else. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. He's prepared to destroy everything my compatriots have fought and died for, just to hear people shout his name. It's not for now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving to Parosa soon. We're going to escort it. They will think it's a supply train. But there are no supplies on it. Very clever. We must throw the rats out of their holes. Give them some bait they can refuse.
Let's go! Bien, compadre. You did a good thing for Mexico today. Colonel sí. Allende would be very pleased. Los rebeldes están robando el tren. Levántese, perezoso, que sepa que le estoy pagando. Marston, you're going to have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start the train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. Todavía levántese. Ay, usted joder. también. Ay, y allá atrás, muévase. ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Uno. Ay, Dios mío, levántese. Ya mismo. What are you waiting for? You have to go now! <laughs> 